earlier, we were only talking about the military equipment transfer such as HIMARS, and today we can already see how the military destroy the enemy with the most accurate shots. And it is the M982 Excalibur, an ultra-precise artillery shell that helps achieve this. The Excalibur was adopted by the US Army in the mid-2000s and tried out in combat in Iraq in 2007. Even then, it proved to be a very powerful weapon you can't hide from, and since then it has got a lot of new features. This projectile, designed to fire from the NATO cannons with a diameter of 155mm, was created as a long-range, ultra-precise ammunition that can fly 60km. For a better understanding, usually the range of artillery shots does not exceed 12 kilometers. Such miraculous turns are achieved by the folding wings in front of the projectile, which allows the Excalibur to not only escape the shockwave, but also to glide through the air. Moreover, it even got its own engine installed, which further increased the firing range. In addition, thanks to the built-in GPS navigator that corrects the projectile right in flight, the Excalibur is able to hit a target with a diameter of no more than 5 meters. Not every rocket can boast about such accuracy. For comparison, standard projectiles can hit a target with a diameter of about 200 to 300 meters when firing at medium ranges. This way you might not only miss the enemy, but also hit your own people. That is why the Excalibur has gained considerable popularity in the military industry and it is not surprising that people would try to develop something similar to such a cool piece of technology. China, for example, boasted over and over again about their GP-155. But is it really that good? It is claimed that the GP-155 guided projectile is capable of hitting targets at the highest ranges, but in fact it turned out to be only 20 kilometers. Its accuracy is also lower, although it is still decent, up to 10 meters. However, the weight of the warhead is only 20 kilograms, in comparison to 22 kilograms for the Excalibur. The appearance of the ammunition can also be considered as an argument in favor of the theory that Russia helped China make the projectile by transferring their developments to China. Speaking of which, the Russian ammunition Krasnopol is also guided but in many ways inferior to the American one. Its characteristics are similar to the Chinese projectile. 20 kilograms explosives, but it still has the same 20 kilometers of range, which can't even be compared to the Excalibur, because by the time the enemy takes the firing position, the Excalibur will have time to destroy them thrice from a much greater distance. However, to be fair, the use of the latest technology has made the Excalibur extremely expensive. For example, depending on the modification, one ammunition can cost from seventy to $230,000, which is much higher than the price of any analogues. Nevertheless, the high cost pays off with the accuracy of the shells and their range. With the arrival of the Excaliburs in Ukraine, the artillery of the armed forces of Ukraine will be able to more accurately and more often hit the targets that are important to the invaders – command posts, ammunition depots, and so on. But the question remains – what do you shoot them with? Don't worry, we have the answer to this question. Sweden has already handed over to Ukraine the FH-77 BW Archer self-propelled howitzer, which happens to use such shells. This is great news because, as we see, countries from all over the world are supplying high-quality weapons more and more often. Archer is a unique self-propelled gun system with a huge 155mm cannon that destroys everyone and everything. The legendary car company Volvo worked hard to create this beauty and installed a 30D 6x6 armoured chassis on it. There is not a single howitzer as technological as this one. The Archer deploys in a combat position in just 30 seconds, sets out of action just as quickly, has an automatic loader, automated control processes and a bunch of other cool things. The artillery unit is comprised of a hefty 155mm FH-77B howitzer. This is the Archer's real trump card, as its maximum rate of fire reaches 9 rounds per minute. But the coolest thing is that it can use the rapid-fire system. 
which allows for a series of shots to be fired in a row, and with each shot, the angle of the barrel changes in such a way that six shells hit the target simultaneously. This is a real heavenly punishment that leaves no chance to survive, even for armored bunkers. Moreover, while the shells reach the target, the archer will already have time to set out of action and go away to a safe place. The archer has a maximum range of 30 kilometers with conventional projectiles and 60 kilometers with a brand new Excalibur guided shells. As a result, you get a very powerful long range weapon capable of smashing any equipment and fortified positions of the enemy to pieces. But, of course, Sweden is not the only one who decided to provide Ukraine with such weapons, because, just this week, France announced a new aid package for Ukraine, which includes the most advanced weapons that will change the course of the war. Among the most powerful radars, cool anti-aircraft systems and anti-tank missiles, it is the 155mm Caesar self-propelled howitzer that really stands out. It is a huge long-range missile and ultra-precise artillery system, equipped with the best technology for devastating blows. So why is Caesar so good? First of all, because of its huge gun. It carries an upgraded version of the 155mm TRF-1, which is one of the best towed howitzers. It uses a wide variety of projectiles including high explosive fragmentation, rocket, smoke, lighting and even cluster, as well as bonus anti-tank guided missiles and our current Excalibur. There is another cannon capable of firing guided Excaliburs, the German PZH-2000, based on the legendary Leopard 2 tank. Its main weapon is a 155mm howitzer of a barrel length of just over 8 meters, and the turret it is installed in can rotate freely, unlike the one in the Caesar. The gun is equipped with an automatic reload of a 60 round, which ensures a very high rate of fire, 12 rounds per minute, which is a very good result, given that charging can be manual, semi-automatic and automatic. Besides, it has four smoke grenade launchers installed on both sides of the gun, which adds even more variability for both offensive and defensive purposes. PZH-2000 can calculate the location of the enemy even in the dark, as it has a sight with a thermal imager and a laser rangefinder. Inside, the howitzer hides a high-tech control module that can automatically calculate and redirect to the target, which means that no nimble enemy reconnaissance can hide from it. In terms of protection, the PZH-2000 is also great. The hull and target have steel armor, and it's covered with reactive armor on top so that it is protected from quite serious threats, such as a tank hit. In turn, the American M109 Paladin, which is already in Ukraine, also has something to brag about. This is a modern self-propelled artillery that will leave no chance to any equipment on the battlefield, and all because it still has the same 155mm howitzer as the previous two. The new M109 uses some of the technology originally developed for the XM2001 Crusader self-propelled howitzers. Civilians even call it a full-fledged tank because it can rotate the turret 360 degrees, but, in fact, it is a much more dangerous weapon. This artillery system can boast about its formidable 155mm auto-reloading cannon. It can fire at a maximum rate of fire of 4 rounds per minute, which can guarantee 4 destroyed enemies if the high-precision guided Excalibur is used when firing with a maximum range of up to 60 kilometers. Upon arriving at the firing position, this system independently determines the location of enemy self-propelled guns using accurate infrared sensors, and then provides data for firing. The M109A7 Paladin has a short reaction and redeployment time. This allows to immediately start moving after the shot, which helps to avoid return fire. You have to agree, this is a huge advantage in comparison to conventional tanks. Overall, the Paladin is a highly effective and very powerful artillery system. It has all the necessary qualities to seize the advantage on the battlefield, just like the Caesar, Archer and other guns. 
But none of this equipment would be so great without the Excalibur, a projectile that can change the course of the war. Thanks for watching and see you soon.